Good day, good day, good day, good day. Let's do this question, which is question number two. Uh, that is the trial. As you can see here, it's September 2023. So we are going to do question number two in this video. Then on the next video, we are going to do question number three up until question number 10. Please subscribe to the channel, to this channel, for more videos, please. Share, like the video, comment, ask question, clarify, correct if there are some mistakes. Feel free, this is our group. Let's feel free. Okay, let's start the question. A truck of mass 1,300 cages. This is the truck, which is... 1300 cages is connected to a car of mass 950 cages by means of inextensible massless rope R and pulls a car along a straight horizontal road the engine of the car the engine of the car applies a force which is 9,000 newtons to move the car truck or the truck car combination to the left as shown in the diagram. The truck experiences a constant frictional force of 3,500. The truck and the car move at constant velocity because of constant velocity we say the net force is equal to zero newtons. That is, the acceleration is zero meters per square second because of the word constant velocity. Ignore the rotation effects of the wheels. Now, the diagram is this one. We have the track. This is the track. This is the truck. Then we have this is then we have the car. This is the car. Okay, there is R, there is a force here that pulls A in this direction. Since this is the rope, we can say this one's a tension. Then it also pulls the, the car or the truck backwards, which means the tension is here. Okay. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to draw the frequency diagram in for, for, for both uh, objects. We have a car. The car, if you can draw a frequency diagram, let me just draw here. The car, or the truck, I mean, has the normal force. Then it has FG. Okay. That is FG. Uh, then we have the tension there is this tension then there is a friction here they said the rough surface there is a friction here then there is a force by engine let's say this is a force applied okay we have one two this is the tension uh, one, two, three, four, five. There are four or five forces here. Then uh, the car has the tension, as you can see. Let me draw the free body diagram. Then here we have the normal force. So we have the friction here. Then we have FG. So in the car we have, or oh, this one is the frictional force. One, two, three, four. There are four forces here. So uh, we have the free body diagram uh, of the track. This is the track. Track. So there is a free body diagram. We have the normal force. We have FG. We have two forces in this side. That is tension and friction. There is a tension and friction. Then we have the force applied by the engine. Then we have a car. A car has four forces. We have the normal force, we have the normal force, then we have the tension here, then we have FG, then we have 
FK. That is the three body diagrams that we have. Now let's go to the questions. The first question says, Elena states that if the truck comes to a sudden stop, the car will continue moving at constant velocity. Which physics law did the learner apply uh, to make this statement? So this is Newton's first law. Newton's first law. The object will continue moving or will remain in its state of rest. What do they say? Newton's first law states that the object will remain in its state of rest or continue moving the constant velocity unless the non-zero resultant force acts on it. That is Newton's first law. Then you get this one mark. Okay? So that is one mark. Then number 2.2. .2. Draw a labeled free body diagram of all forces acting on the track. So we already draw the free body diagram, which means this one is, is 2.2 because this is the labeled free body diagram of all forces acting on the track. Then the following question says, calculate. Calculate the tension in the rope connecting the truck and the car. Now let's collect the, the, the data. They said we have the force applied, which is 9,000, and a constant frictional force, the truck that experiences a constant frictional force of 3,500. Which means the track have two, that is a frictional force, we are given 3,500 newtons. Then you also have the force that is applied, which is 9,000 newtons. Then the question says calculate the tension. Now when you calculate the tension, since there is a tension on the car and the tension on the track, what you must do, you must start with the free body diagram, with the object with more data given. Here we are given the frictional force and force applied, but here there is nothing that is given here, which means we are going to first look at the track. If we don't get the tension of the track, that is our first equation, then we go to the car, okay? Now let's start with the track. And remember that we said the objects or the system is moving with a constant velocity, meaning that F net is equal to zero. It is very, very, very important to first say F net is equal to MA. Then you will get a mark for the formula. Then since the net force, since the, uh, the velocity is constant, F net is equal to zero. Then let's substitute. If we can look the free put diagram, we have the force applied, we have the friction, we have the tension. Always put a negative to a tension. The tension is go to the left, to the right, and the friction goes to the right, which means the sign for tension must be the same as of the friction, which means these two will have a negative sign then this one must be positive so from here we will substitute uh, force applied minus fk minus tension which is equal to zero now let's start substituting what we have we have the force applied which is 900 or 9000 which is 9000 minus the frictional force which is 3500 3500 minus the tension which is equal to zero then when we combine the two using the calculator we get we get uh, five 
1500 minus tension which is equal to zero and then we transpose one of the two we can take this one to this side then we are left with the 5500 which is equal to t therefore the tension that we're looking for is 5500 newtons the question is answered then let's go to question uh, that is following this one which says calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the car and the road the focus now is on the car on the car now we have the tension that is calculated already which is 5500 newtons then the question says calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction we need to calculate first the kinetic frictional force then from the kinetic frictional force we calculate the what the kind the coefficient of kinetic frictional force now we have the frictional force i said to just put negative on the frictional force which means in this case the tension is positive so the tension in another object is positive and in another object is negative that is equal in opposite direction newton's third law okay so even here we are going to say f net is equal to this is 2.2.3.2 this was 2.3.1 this one is 3.3.2 question number 2.3.2 then f net is equal to ma always before you calculate then since the system is moving with a constant velocity f net is equal to zero then the tension is positive the friction is negative which is equal to zero the tension is 500 so it's 5500 minus fk which is equal to zero then we can transpose one of the two or let's transpose the friction since it is negative so that it will be positive so let's transpose this one so we're left with 5500 here that is the tension which is equal to fk when it is transposed the side the sign changes it was negative now it's positive therefore the friction therefore the frictional force is equal to 5500 newtons for the car okay then the question says calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction now we have a friction friction is equal to coefficient of kinetic friction times the what the normal force which means we need to calculate the normal force let's go to the free body diagram normal force uh, is the vertical force which means the normal force is on vertical forces now when you calculate the normal force what i used to say or to do upward forces i call the downward forces which means in our case the normal force is equal to fg then fg is equal to mg so the mass of the car the mass of the car was 9000 or 9105 it was 9105 so mass of the car mass of the car is 950 okay so we have 950 950 times 9.8 then we get uh, we get the the normal force okay let's uh, let's press the country so which is a uh, 9310 9310 newtons this is the normal force then we take the normal force we substitute here so this is our normal force so we substitute here it's in substitute here so the frictional force is already calculated which is 500 and 5500 so we have 5500 then we are looking for the coefficient of kinetic friction then the normal force 
is 9310 then we divide by 9310 and both sides 9310 10 both sides then we get the coefficient of kinetic friction then let's press calculator then we have 0 0.59 there are no units for this one because it's the ratio of forces the ratio of uh, a friction and normal force okay now let's go to the last question uh, the last question which says the rope between the truck and the car suddenly breaks the car continues to move to the left before coming to rest okay calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the car now we have to draw a new free body diagram because there is no tension so the new free body diagram of the car will be the normal force then the fg and then the what the frictional force before we have we had the what the tension but now the tension is not there the rope breaks which means we have only the friction okay so the question says calculate the the acceleration now and it is not moving with a constant speed now because it comes to stop we have the initial velocity which is not equal to the final velocity therefore f net in this case is equal to ma and acceleration is not equal to zero is what we are looking for then if we can look here we have only the frictional force that does work on an object which means we are going to say the frictional force is always negative. We are going to say uh, negative Fk, which is equal to Ma. Okay. Then we substitute the frictional force of the car is 5,500, which is equal to the mass of the car is 9,950. Then we are looking for acceleration then we divide by 950 both then we get acceleration so the acceleration that we have is negative 5 comma 7 9 it is negative therefore acceleration is equal to 5,79 meters per square second because of this negative remember negative is going to the right then positive is going to the left so uh, we conclude by saying uh, it's 5,79 meters per square second to the right because of that negative then the equation is answered uh, please subscribe to the youtube channel this one then i'm going to do the second video which is question number uh, question number three of the question paper that is uh, september 2023 is c thank you thank you in advance for subscribing sharing and commenting liking the video thank you so much bye